When Sean Hussey and Michelle LeBlanc cooked together in tranquil Cape Cod, I wonder if they ever thought that a decade hence they'd be married and operating a very successful bistro in downtown St. John's. Much less after taking a detour for a year to an island on Newfoundland's northeast coast. Turns out Fogo Island's loss was very much a win for St. John's diners. Their 2010 creation, Chinched Bistro, has matured from a promising colt into a real thoroughbred. It's been an Atlantic Canadian effort in a way. Executive chef Huzzy hails from Newfoundland, LeBlanc, pastry chef from Nova Scotia, and Tyler Gallant, sous chef, is from Prince Edward Island. Credit must also be given to their astute, well-trained waitstaff. Apart from the pictures on the walls and a few other details, physically, Chinched has not changed a whit since it opened. In fact, it looks pretty much the same as it did when Restaurant 7 operated there in 2009 under Brian Abbott. It's a modest spot with seating for about 25, maybe 30 if you include the downstairs bar. Chinched is the epitome of laid-back. T-shirts are as welcome as jackets and ties. When we were there, a guy was munching away on his bread starter with molasses and scrunchions dip while working his laptop. Even the music is laid back. A succession of highly listenable contemporary ballads expertly sung by a variety of artists. Although Michelle LeBlanc is quite proud of the new flooring they've just installed in the unseen kitchen, the improvement of consequence at Chinched is in the food. The quality of ingredients has always been excellent. Now there's evidence of those ingredients being used with a higher level of skill and panache. It's like a painter having a dozen colors on his palette and finally figuring out how and where to use them for the perfect result. This was made manifest from our very first appetizer. I have to be honest, when I ordered the octopus curry with coconut and several other ingredients, I did not order it because I really wanted it. Like most reviewers, I order things that I think will be interesting to write about. For all I knew, the dish might well have been a total disaster. In the hands of a less skilled cook, it may well have been. The dish was rife with harmonious flavors and textures. Of course, any Indian-inspired dish should be. But these flavors and textures were brought together brilliantly. No single spice overpowered another, and each newly discovered texture, octopus, bakora with raisins, scallion rice, was a most welcome surprise. I would love to know what alchemy was used to make the octopus so tender. If Chef Huzzy is smart, he'll make it a trade secret, just like Colonel Sanders did with his secret herbs and spices recipe. We were served an outstanding charcuterie board that any still-life artist would have been pleased to paint. That's how beautiful it looked. There were so many delicious elements to this display, it's hard to know where to begin. Charcuterie selections of razor-thin slices of pork sausage stuffed with what appeared to be pistachios, mousse salami, and prosciutto were all made in-house. Pork takes well to this kind of processing, moose less so. But I enjoyed these meats. It's obvious that Chef Huzzy has learned how to make proper salumi. The board also contained a couple of artisanal cheeses, soft, unpasteurized cow's milk brie style with bloomy rind from Quebec and semi-soft, pasteurized cow's milk cheese from Switzerland. A myriad of tangy, sweet, zestful, and savory things filled out the remainder of the board. Dill pickle, candied walnuts, pickled beet, olives, mustard seed caviar, and capers. There was one other addition that helped make the board memorable. Fresh crackers, handmade by Michel Leblanc. We all know the care and attention given a homemade product. The difference in taste from something out of a box can be astounding. Each variety was different and interesting, especially when eaten with specific meats, cheeses, and condiments. I like the combo of mustard seed caviar with the whole wheat red wine and fennel cracker. 
The other crackers were almond sunflower seeds and molasses, rosemary crostini, and buttermilk. Newfoundland blue mussels steamed in wine with pickled sweet peppers is my new favorite way to enjoy these delectable local bivalves. Chinched also served an appetizer of parsnip agnolotti, delicate pockets of pasta that had been filled with a sweet parsnip puree, then served with brown butter, toasted hazelnuts, bits of deep-fried kale, and parmigiano-reggiano. It's amazing how some flour and a few vegetables can be transformed into something so appealing to the eye and taste buds. Steelhead trout isn't as popular as salmon in or out of restaurants, but maybe the time has come to serve more of it. We tasted beautiful, slightly nutty, pan-seared steelhead fillet at Chinched with citrus butter sauce, fingerling potato hash, caramelized Brussels sprouts, and game chips. This dish was very well balanced. Everything was in sync and arranged in an economical, eye-catching manner. Duck has to be one of the most glorious meals when done by an expert hand. Chinched served the best plate of duck I've had in several years. No timid flavors here. Tender, succulent, and gamey canard, glazed with spiced honey, was aided by a classic flavor companion, sour cherry vinaigrette. The plate also offered butternut squash puree, parsnip, and a sprinkling of walnut sage gremolata. After trying Michelle LeBlanc's incredible biscuits, I felt obliged to try dessert. Her made-from-scratch cannoli was easily the best I've had in St. John's. Light, aromatic, flaky shells, carefully filled with a mixture of sweetened ricotta, pistachios, and chocolate, made for a near-celestial eating experience. Then there was the daily ice cream offering, Oatmeal Vanilla a new kind of oatmeal dairy mix, wonderfully executed. Finally, we were served a piece of homemade chocolate bark embedded with nuts, dried fruit, and sprinkled with a dash of salt. How's that for an ending? Sean Huzzy, Michelle LeBlanc, and Chinched staff certainly got my attention this week. There's been a phenomenal improvement in the cuisine since I last reviewed Chinched in 2010. The plates are better tuned, and visually pleasing. Currently, only four St. John's restaurants have a top four-star rating from me. Now there is a fifth. I happily award four stars to Chinched Bistro, 7 Queen Street, St. John's. Congratulations on a job well done. Dinner for two with wine at Chinched, with tax and tip included, will cost you approximately $180. For reservations, call 722-3100.